welcome to a slightly different episode with me today. Um, I have been Googling and Googling and have come up with either one end of the spectrum or the other end of the spectrum. Um, I got a really awesome foil quill in the post and I was super excited to use it. But when I went to go and use it, I found it really difficult to do the things that I wanted to do. So I thought let's go from start to finish and let's do just a really simple sticker pack with some really beautiful foiled letters and kind of words over it. I was thinking just Monday to Sunday to make it really simple. So we're going to go through the whole process from start to finish and how we create that sketch feel on the foil quill to fill it in as a full word, not just the outline like the cut lines would do on a silhouette um, cameo. So let's get started. You'll see behind me You'll see behind me is the filming studio, so you'll see me cut through from here down to there and over to my printing machines which are in front of me. Looking forward to doing this with you today. Okay, the first thing we want to do is open up our silhouette and we also want to make sure that we have all of the files that we're going to be using for our simple stickers on the side ready to go. Now that we have Silhouette open, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we stretch out those um, the grid lines and we're going to make them as big as we possibly can without creating registration mark errors. So we're going to head over into our paper plane area, we're going to make sure that the registration marks are on, we're going to increase the size on just the top two and then we're going to be ready to go. going to drop and drag my little colored dots to where I want them and the sizes I want them on my page. Once I'm done with this I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to write the word weekend. I'm going to write it in a simple font and then I'm going to highlight it and choose a slightly more frilly font. Here I've chosen one that's a little bit rough around the edges so that you can see that it looks on the page where it's going to have the cut lines. Technically, we could totally foil that, but it's going to be really jagged and really rough. Trust me, I already tried it. So I'm choosing a slightly less frilly one, and this time I'm going to put the kerneling of the letters closer together so that they kind of stick together. I'm then going to take a copy of it. After resizing it to the size that I want, I'm going to copy and paste it onto my board. I'm going to do the same thing here for my to-do list. Wait, no, I think I'm going to call it my priorities list. Great, now we're ready for action. We're going to ungroup the word and once it's ungrouped, we're going to weld the word back together. This is a really simple thing to do, and we're going to just make sure that the letters are close enough together to weld as well. Once welded, we're going to head into the sketch tool section. We're going to choose the circular kind of bullet area, and we're going to choose rounded lines, and we're going to put the sizing in between those circles as small as possible. We're then going to change it to green so that we know which is our sketch line and which is our cut line. Now I'm going to take my red cut line weekend and I'm going to put a buffer around it. I'm going to take the inside of the weekend and I'm going to delete it. That way I can have what I need cut around the weekend with enough space for my foil to be inside the cut line. Now let's pop that green weekend back into the cut line box. Right, let's do the same for my priorities word. 
we're going to ungroup, weld, and then we're going to create a buffer around the edge. Now we're going to create Monday through to Friday. Now this is a little bit trickier because we want to make sure that the cut lines will go around the letter that we choose. Again, I'm going to choose a pretty frilly font so that we can kind of fit it into those circles. This time I'm using La Parisienne. Once I've selected my font, I'm going to give it a buffer around the edge, which is going to be the cut line for my letter. I'm going to make sure that that welds to the little circle dot when I finally put it on. So I'm going to pull my letter all the way to the side and I'm going to keep it there until I'm ready to use it. I now do the same for all the other days of the week. Now we're going to head into our trace area tool and we're going to select each dot individually. We're going to make sure that the threshold is high and that we sketch around the outline so that we're not filling in the entire thing. We're then going to take the outline of our letter and weld them together with the circles. With our circle back in place, we're now going to take the letter we want to sketch. We're going to go through again to the sketching tool and we're going to select the radius. We're going to make sure that the size is very small and that the edges are rounded. We're going to do that for all of our letters, but remember to make sure that the letters are green. We then fit the letter into the border we've already made with our cut line. Okay, we're now getting ready to print and cut. Now that we've got the printing ready, let's install our foil quill into the machine. I'm using pen holder or cutter number two. I'm putting it in and making sure that it clicks into place. I'm putting the heat resistant metal piece below and I'm plugging the USB in to a power point. You'll see the blue light come on and you know that it's working and heating up. Make sure that it's plugged into a power point and not into your cutter because it doesn't have enough energy to keep it going. Now this here is the really tricky part. We're going to take our sticky Cameo sticker pad kind of printer thing and we're going to very carefully align it to the magnetic foil quill pad. Now this is really tricky because it can slide around a little bit. I affix it into place with a little bit of the washi tape that they've provided just to make sure that it doesn't move around on my cutting mat. It's really important to make sure that all the lines line up or else your cutting in the final stage is going to be off quite a bit. Now we need to very carefully align our sticker paper to exactly where it would be if it was stuck to the mat normally. So it's really important to make sure that you get everything stuck into place in this stage. Alright, let's cut our foil to size. We want to make sure that there's enough 
base or padding around each of the images that we're going to foil today or else it's going to pull and it won't sit really well on the paper. I'm now going to use the magnetic holders by Foil Quill, which are such a clever nifty difty tool. It magnetically seals your piece of foil down onto the foil, for, let's call it the foil mat. And what I like to do is I like to smooth it out with the other piece of um, magnet and make sure that it's really tight to the page. I then use the smaller foil magnets to hold down the bottom. They recommend not using it up at the top. I'm not 100% sure why. I think it's probably because it will knock into your printer cutter or your printer foiler. Alright, we're ready to insert it into the machine. Remember to remove your metal protector and insert it like you normally would your cutting mat. Okay, we're now ready to start foiling. This is where the tricky part's going to come in. Because you're foiling and you're not cutting, switch off the registration marks for now. Go into your cutting area or send and make sure that you pick the line tool because remember we've divided them into red and green cut colors. Click on your red and make sure that it's positioned to kiss cut for your sticker paper or sticker paper style. And then on the green one, we want to make sure that we've selected sketch, not cut. We also want to make sure that we've clicked tool number two so that it uses tool two. We're now going to turn off the red lines and we're only going to allow for the green lines. I'm going to slow it down from 10 to 2 so that it has time to foil beautifully. Let's press send and get it foiling. There she goes. She's ready and starting to foil. With our foiling done, it's now time to see how it looks now that it's out of the foiler. The foil comes off really easy in comparison to those done with toners where it kind of sticks to the page and sometimes comes out splotchy. Here, it comes off really easily and you can see it's come through really beautifully. Using those thin, thin sketch lines, it's come out really with thick lines to show that it is absolutely one of those beautiful fonts. When we bring it up close, you can see how detailed and beautiful it is. Now, we carefully take off the magnetic mat, and now we're going to have to re-affix the sticker paper to the cutting mat, because now it's time to get cutting. We need to make sure that it's lined up perfectly, or else it's not going to cut in the way we expect it to. Heading back to our computer screen, we're now going to deselect the green and we're going to select the red cut lines. We're going to make sure that everything's in place and everything is correct and we're using the correct um, pen holder. And then we're going to click the send button and send it off to cut. Oh no! 
something has gone awry. You can see on the edge of my cutting mat here, I didn't align the paper exactly the way I should have. So you can see the cut lines are just slightly off on the image, which means my stickers are slightly off. Oh no! But they still came out really cute and they were really simple to make. So just make sure that you've got everything perfectly aligned for when you do it yourself. I hope you found this useful and please tell us how you went in the comments below. And if you have any other tricks, let us know as well because this was my first time and I'd love to know if you learned any tricks along the way too. See you next time. As always, thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below as well. Thank you.